All right, so this video will go over basics of uh, measuring and staking uh, points and lines. So uh, just to make sure that you're in measure mode, you can always hit the uh, home menu and then measure, and that puts you right into um, measure mode. And uh, it's set up to kind of default into measuring individual points. So if I wanted to uh, just measure a few points on the surface here, I can just get my, my pole set up. I'll go ahead and hit measure. That'll bring me to the measure type screen where I can type in uh, the point name where topo one, if you're just doing say a ground shot, that would be what that is. And for that, we can call this a GS for a ground shot. Uh, point type, uh, the options are surface or feature. That has implications for if you're actually going to be uh, constructing a digital uh, elevation surface. So if you want to have the points included in what's going to be made into a surface, that would be, uh, you'd want to have that set as surface. But if you're measuring something else, uh, like a site feature, maybe a water valve or the corner of a septic tank or, or something like that, and you don't want it included in a three-dimensional surface, you would go with that feature option. But here we'll just pick surface and then show every time. That means that every time you hit measure, you will get this screen. So we'll, uh, in this case, we'll do, uh, we'll just do accept here. And then that takes a shot and uh, you'll have that camera sound, which lets you know that that's there. So then I could, you know, travel over to measure um, another point, simply just anywhere on site. Uh, we'll get the pole nice and plumb again. We'll hit measure. And then in this instance, we're just going to do show every time no. But so we're at topo two, it's still a ground shot. We'll hit accept. And then if I wanted to, if I know I'm still doing the same point codes, still taking ground shots, and I don't want to be prompted to enter in that information after I set it to no, now I can just get to a particular point and hit measure, and it'll just take a shot and then automatically increment that uh, that point name. You can see on the screen that now you're getting topo three uh, and the like, etc. So the other type of feature that gets measured quite commonly is lines. And the way that you select how to measure a line is in the bottom uh, of the status bar here. We have that little uh, bar with a point on it. If you click on that, it brings up the measure type uh, window. And you can see that we are in the point, and then we've got a tab for an existing line, which now we don't have any existing lines yet. But here we're going to do a new line. And uh, the line name, you have to name every single line that goes in there. So we can call that line one. And then the line type, there's several different options. So you can just do a line, um, an area, which is a good feature to have because that uh, lets you calculate areas and it'll automatically close out the line at the end of that. I do have a video showing that. Um, a volume boundary, so if you're going to be doing stockpiles or, or pits or anything, you need to actually measure a points around the edge of that, and I'll, I'll be showing that in another video. And then an outer boundary, and that also will let you, uh, if you're doing a lot of surface type features, that puts a boundary around items. So in this instance, and a, and a break line, what that does is that has implications for building these digital surfaces as well. So we won't quite get into that application now. The most basic is just to do a line. So we'll, um, we'll hit that, and then we'll just uh, kind of get to a spot that's sort of clean on the screen. We'll hit uh, get our pole nice and plumb by looking at the bubble level. We'll hit measure. We've got line point one. And then uh, we have, you know, you can see that we're actually drawing a line there, whereby we can, you know, plumb it up again. Measure. So this could be used to map out, uh, say, underground utility. Uh, a septic run from the corner of the house into the uh, into the actual septic tank. If you wanted to do an edge of a driveway, anything kind of linear, and uh, that will now show up on your screen as, uh, as something that you might want to uh, want to delineate. So once you've kind of got to the end point of your line, you can just go ahead and hit that little line button again uh, in the bottom right there, and just switch back over to point. And so that's kind of the basics of the measuring. If you wanted to add on to an existing line, you can hit that. We can hit existing line, select that line one again, and uh, that will actually tag you on to your very last point that you measured. So you can see that uh, here I am and we're still connected up to that point. So whatever that last point that was measured, if you wanted to continue on measuring something, uh, you can do that. So, and one other feature that uh, is possible to measure with 
is we have different modes uh, of walking or standing or static. So if I'm just going to turn this back to point mode uh, here, and we'll, we'll call this, uh, it'll be, still can be topo, but we're going to call this walk because we're going to go into a walking uh, type of mode. And I'm going to switch this over to feature. That doesn't really matter, but it'll just prevent it from making a surface. And for the show every time, we'll hit, uh, we'll hit no on that. But then to get to our uh, measure mode, what we're going to do is we're going to hit the measure mode icon, which is the little uh, icon of the person, and we'll switch over to walking. And what this does is that this lets you um, automatically shoot a point uh, as you cover a particular horizontal and vertical interval. So I'm going to set that to be five feet, and then vertically I'll set that to be uh, half of a foot. And then we'll see that uh, you know we're back on that home screen. And once we're in this position of the area that we want to start measuring a line, we'll hit start. It'll measure a point, and we've got two little icons in the bottom right there. Uh, the one on the left is the stop button, and the one on the right lets you add a point. So if I go less than five feet and I want to add a point, I can do that. But then as I sort of start walking here, you'll see that automatically points get measured without actually hitting the button. And so once you're done, uh, measuring your points, you're going to just going to hit stop. And I think that's about it for the basics of uh, how to do very basic kind of site measurements on on site here.